I'm reviewing National Geographic's quadcopter drone. Now this has what's called headless mode and that is when a quadcopter will respond in the direction that you want it to go. So no matter if it's on the side or anywhere else, if you push forward, it will go forward. So you don't have to worry about where the front is and rotate it to go in that direction. Now the only way that that will work is if you are directly behind the quadcopter when you sink it. If not, the smart auto orientation will think that this part is the front. So you need to make sure that you're right behind it. So you literally just hit the take off and land button to have it go. Now it has a set altitude, so no matter where you decide to go, like if you throttle up, it'll go up, you throttle down, it'll stay at that level. Now being outside, there might be a slight variation. As you can see, it's kind of listing to the right. So that is where your trims come into play. The wind's blowing, so I'm going to have to overcompensate. Now this is very lightweight, so it will misbehave a little bit and wind. Now to do a flip, it's quite simple. There's actually a flip button that you push, which is located up here. And it goes back to a hovering state. And the thing that makes it easiest is it hovers by itself, um, as well as the headless mode, because that's where it gets really confusing for beginners, is realizing that you need to watch where the front is to go straight, and it causes a lot of crashing. The only feature that I have found that has some quirks to it is the return home feature. And it is in that bush right there, next to my dog bowl. Though it crashed, there's no damage to it. And it should take off. Just like it should. Now when you're ready for it to land, you will hit the take off land button again and you will see that it's slowly decreasing speed and it lands. I hope that this gives you a better idea of the product. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.